hello and welcome back today i want to show you how to create a study area map and we're going to use ArcMap for for that purpose <coughs> so a couple of videos uh, back i showed you how to download a shape file uh, from or uh, how to download shape file using uh, ArcMap desktop so i'm going to use the same shape file that i downloaded during that uh, time and uh, if you, have, you haven't watched that video, kindly go back and and have a look at it. So the shape file is here. I have all these shape files. So I'm going to import them in ArcMap. So I'm going to open up the ArcMap application. And then we're going to add the data. I'm going to select all of them and then click Add. then you can also arrange this data where to arrange just click on this list by drawing order and then have you can have uh, rearrange this data accordingly so let me just change a few things i'm going to make that hollow and nairobi counting I'm going to increase that and change the color to pop. Click OK. Nairobi constituencies, I'm going to make them hollow again. And uh, for example, because this is now the study area, I'm going to uh, make that to give it that color. I don't know if it's called cyan. I think it's called cyan. So I think everything now looks uh, fine. So this is the uh, area of study. Now uh, let's go to files so that you can set up the the page. I'm going to uncheck this and change to the output and to to be a big uh, page a zero and landscape click ok and then i can save this uh, as you uh, as you move on you need to save your work i say study area uh, click save now click on view tab and then go to layout so that you can change that let's have that here and then you can you can insert a data frame we want to insert data frame there so actually you need three data frames so uh, i can have this nairobi and uh, Nairobi constituency, these three, I can drag them at that particular point. And then um, create, insert another data frame uh, for study area this one here so we can resize this go to resize uh, can resize that and leave enough room for uh, coordinates grid coordinates and then can also resize this one here So that's uh, that's fine. I want to click inside each of these and then uh, click uh, full extend. 
this one also full extend this one also full extend uh, then uh, 24,000 then this one here let's make standard uh, scale 100,000 this one that so let's start by uh, having some change create add some elements in in this one the first uh, data frame so I'm going to click on it to highlight and insert a title and call it uh, map of Kenya click OK and then double click to make some changes you're going to change I can leave that make it bold and uh, I want to reduce the font to uh, 50 and click OK apply uh, I want it to be underlined apply OK and I move it at the center of the map another thing you need to insert is the north arrow and I'm going to select that click OK and you can move it at that particular point so another thing that I want to insert is a scale bar scale bar I'm going to I'm going for the first one and uh, properties division units uh, is kilometers and uh, posi label position above center you can choose any then click ok so I'm going to, remove, to reduce that you can reduce that to to a reasonable size uh, another thing that we can insert is the scale text scale text uh, choose absolute go to properties and uh, change to style you can change to absolute and then text format you can make that uh, 36 bold apply ok ok then the top here let's uh, add a text double click on that text and uh, type scale uh, change symbol uh, bold ok apply that seems to be too big so you can reduce that to 36 that's too big Okay, apply okay so this you can increase then select both all of the all, both of these the two of them then right click and group them together now let's place it somewhere there uh, so I think there's nothing else we can add inside that uh, data frame let's move to the next data frame as we move remember to save so move to the uh, second data frame click inside it and then go to insert let's insert uh, text uh, title double click inside uh, change symbol reduce this to 48 bold underlined okay then the text should be uh, let's call it Nairobi map then I think you 
is side 48 bold underline okay apply okay then move it somewhere there uh, so you can see our map is taking shape insert again another element this time round let insert let us insert uh, north arrow this time round you can select uh, let's go for this one here and move it at the top here then insert also a scale bar uh, for this one I still choose the first one and then uh, properties remember to change the properties division units to kilometers <coughs> click apply okay okay so double click on it let's have the label above center apply okay so that's our scale that seems to be also uh, insert a scale text uh, go to properties absolute go to properties uh, text beyond absolute and then you can change that to format to 20 let's make it 28 apply okay okay and double click we forgot to make it bold also let's just increase the font a little bit As before, let's in create a text for scale. Double click on it and uh, type in a scale. Make it bold, increase the font to uh, 36. OK, apply. OK. Now select, press down control and select both of them, right click and group so that we can have scale right there. So I think lastly you can have a legend. Uh, so let's first of all label this so that we can have uh, So instead of for example, you can change this to uh, area of study, and this one and then you can change. boundary like that so let's first of all ungroup and move this closer just noticed right click group again Now, uh, insert now uh, the legend. If you don't want an element here, you can just click and click this arrow. If you want to add, you click on this, then you click on add. If you want to add all of them, just click this one here. Remove all of them, click this. So click next. 
want to increase the font for the title and uh, so click next I want to have a boundary for the legend the background color make it white just in case we uh, create so click next next and finish so if I right there we have uh, the legend and because you have this legend here I'm not going to create legend for this uh, study area what I can do I can just I can just uh, label this go to properties and go to labels uh, increase 10 bold apply apply you can increase the font to 48 then try to apply so that's the name of that constituency and click OK so now uh, let's move to this uh, this data from we click on insert uh, the first thing is to insert a title double click on the title and uh, call it uh, area Call it study. Uh, sorry, study area. Study area map. Then change the. Uh, make it underline and bold. Uh, click OK. Apply. OK. Next, uh, let's insert not arrow. Can have this or just this one click OK select again insert scale bar I'm going to select the second one properties uh, miles kilometers bold uh, above and above right click apply okay okay Another thing, let's insert uh, scale text, uh, then go to properties, select absolute, go to format, bold, and increase that to 36, yes, click apply, ok. Uh, let's let's first of all oh, okay click ok click ok can move this at the at this particular point here so let's create a text for for scale then call it uh, scale uh, change format increase that to 36 or 38 
make it bold okay apply okay so that then select all of this select and group them and move somewhere there Insert not that scale, so I think we have everything. What we need now is to insert the grids. Right click inside the dat data frame, I go to properties, and then uh, new. Uh, click on measured, click next. Uh, the interval, I think, you can make it 4000. 4, Click next, next, finish, apply. Uh, that looks looks fine to me. Um, that's fine. So what we can change? Uh, if I zoom. I'm going to get rid of this small text here, zero, zero. Uh, so right click inside, go to properties again. Then uh, let's start with labels and then go to additional properties. So, and then number format. This is the way to, re to remove those small uh, numbers. So round off, we are going to round off to zero so that you can get rid of them. If you click OK, apply OK, apply OK. If I zoom in again, you can now see those uh, numbers are gone. Now let's in increase the font of the grid coordinates, labels, uh, increase this to 26 okay apply okay you can now see you have those ones uh, right click again properties and then uh, lines I want to reduce that apply and okay so i think that's uh, quite fine uh, because of time you're not going to fine tune everything you can follow the same steps to increase or to add more elements so what i can only add here is uh I'm going to add a, a triangle, a, rectang a rectangle, and uh, I'm going to add this rectangle. If you're not able to see this, just right click here and uh, click on this draw. Make sure that draw is selected and then layout. So I'm going to add that rectangle and uh, draw a rectangle there right click properties uh, fill color and zero with them going to increase to five change color to red okay apply okay uh, another rectangle is going to to be around here right click properties the same same properties no color increase that to five again uh, change that to red click ok apply ok remember to save your work 
and then uh, I'm going to change that to line so that we can draw a line from this point So around there, then double click, and then uh, there's line still selected. Right click and go to properties, change symbol. I want arrow at the end. So I'm going to increase this to three and change color to red. Click OK, apply. OK. So I need two more arrows. One the trans from this corner here to this corner here. Double click, right click uh, properties. So select arrow at the end and to increase that to three. Change color to red. OK. Apply OK. So we need another, the last one. From that corner to this corner here. Uh, double click, right click. Uh, then go to uh, properties edit symbol uh, okay select arrow at the end increase that to three bold red click up okay apply and okay so we have that So the last thing that we need is to add uh, an outline so that uh, when you print, so if you print this map like this, uh, this uh, outline here is not going to be uh, to be shown and so it leaves our map hanging. So the trick that you can use is to add, uh, insert a data frame and then uh, you can re remove that so that you can, it's empty. And then just uh, expand it like that. So now we have our map. I know uh, there are a few things that we can add here and there, but uh, because of time, uh, we're not going to look to look at all of them. But uh, you can fine tune. You can use the same same process to do that. So uh, now that we want to print this, go to File, Export Map. Uh, study area map or call it whatever you want uh, resolution I want you can reduce or increase I want it at uh, 350 and then click save so at the bottom here you can see the process so the process is complete if I minimize that we have our map here. So <laughs> this is a map. Uh, you can see it is uh, in form of an image. Uh, now that's how you create an uh, area stud map or stud area map. And uh, if you have any question or uh, where you didn't get it uh, clearly just uh, leave a comment so that i can go through them and uh, i'll answer accordingly that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one